And she brought a friend, Panda. What's up, Panda? How you doing, dude? Hell yeah, excellent. Uh, Stormy, you said you're from from Alabama. Hell yeah, we. Yes, I'm from Alabama, but we're in Georgia. In Georgia, how how did you how did you come to how did you guys come to combine hip hop and country and do it so freaking well? Honestly, I, I didn't even think I was going to be a part of that genre. Um, I didn't even want to call it country rap. I got, I got kind of I wanted to call it. my shit soul for rapping. <laughs> I did not, like, because I didn't want to even think, like, I'm from Alabama, born and raised, Shelby, Alabama, Shelby County. Um, Well, Shelby of Shelby County. But I did not even want to consider myself a country artist. I was like, fuck that. I'm different. And I ended up trying to leave and go away from home as far as I could, which was only like an hour to go to college. <laughs> Like, it was stupid. And uh, so I, I ended up getting into music um, after this dude. So I dated a guy for six years, and he broke two of my ribs. And I got into music. I had this whole epiphany moment. And so that's, you know, like I said, I got into music, whatever the fuck. And I did not want to do country. So I called it soulful rapping. And, I mean, here we are I now. I feel like that's what Rod Wave could be counted six, as, honestly. Seven years um, later. Well, nine from my decision. I Broadway. dig it. Six, seven years. So, what brought you from Alabama to Georgia? This motherfucker. How? Oh. Well, no, uh, <laughs> there you go. Well, and this good I, reason. Okay, so I met. So Shamu has a twin. Um, sorry, the camera's right here, but we see y'all up there. It's so all good. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm same, same with me. My camera's right here, oh. but I see you guys up here. So I get it. Okay, no, that works. All right, so. I wonder why your head will lean back like a motherfucker like this. I met Sham at his brother's video shoot. Um, this artist, Drawdy, reached out to me to be in this uh, music video called Shades of Georgia. Um, they ended up doing a remix and put Colt Ford and did Long Cut. I think one the, on there. Was on the Lax was on there. Yeah, yeah Colt Ford and The Lax on there. Um, but I was in the original video, and TJ Freak, Shamu's twin, was on the original song and he's on the remix as well and I met them at the video shoot and that was summer of 2019 and then I met Sham that made you feel like a year later yeah like the January of 2020 yeah like it was, it was right before the fucking like the lockdown <laughs> yeah we did a show Friday the 13th right before the lockdown in 2020 and it, it was super dope it was right after I released uh, Dirty South I just recorded Dirty South that following Sunday Friday the 13th, I record or I performed it for the first time, and then that following Tuesday, everything was shut down. Dang, Wait. COVID was wild. Yeah. I thought I met you at that league. Shamu, if there's any way you could move your mic a little bit closer. I, I can just hold He doesn't talk as loud as me. I'm sorry. I Let me move away. I'm sorry. I just thought I was closing. It's all good. Um, uh, so I have a very loud voice. So we we've been we've been jamming uh, bad bitch language, and I gotta tell you the the first line in the song it brings a tear to my eye every time. But uh, <laughs> yeah, BBL, BBL. <laughs> I want to go ahead and jam it for people that may not know your music. I want to play that song, and then we're gonna ask you a whole bunch of questions. Did you guys bring hot sauce by chance? Uh, yeah. Hold on, wait. Where's the, oh, got excellent, it. excellent. It's got a good name. Yeah. I, I want to shout out my uh, you know my, my twin TJ. He's got a live stream he does on his Facebook every. Sunday called a heap of freak where um, honestly me and her have to try hot sauces with him and just I normally cry all night eating oh, hot man. sauce but we Today, do it every uh, Sunday we have something called anal angst and <laughs> I love it I love it we'll get to that here in a bit let's jam let's yeah. jam the song and then uh, we'll go from there Ooh. hell yeah so good what? my my co-host today is uh is Michaela Michaela do you have a question for for Stormy or Shamu hi girl Oh, you're frozen, Michaela. Oh shit. At least she's frozen a cute face. But the <laughs> rap the the rap game, like what was like the hip hop and like rap influence for y'all to like start getting into it? Oh gosh. Um, like growing up or as far as like country rap? Yeah, as okay. far as like what gave you the inspiration to like finally go for it? 
like your epiphany moment, like you were saying. Okay, so my epiphany moment. All right. So, um, like I said, right before I turned 22, I dated a guy for six years. He broke two of my ribs. Uh, he broke my top two off my sternum, not like your floating ribs or anything. Like it, I still have problems. Like I do little twitches and shit trying to pop myself. Um, but anyways, that happened January, um, 2013 and, uh, August of 2013, I went and saw an artist that I grew up listening to. Um, I don't know if I should name his name, but, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to name his name, but an artist that I grew up listening to. And like, and I remember thinking to myself, like at a young age, like I'm going to smoke a blunt with that guy one day. Like I'm going to meet him. We're going to be friends. Like I really did like years yeah. before this dude. Goals. And, uh, so, Life goals. You know, and then this happens and it's my first time ever seeing him live, you know, whatever. And I had no idea he was putting out a new album um, with one of the the biggest. Anyways, I, I, I Lil Wayne, Snoop, that. Snoop Dogg, Lil the Wayne, biggest fucking up and coming country artist, country <laughs> rap artist, whatever the fuck that is now uh, fucking yeah, mainstream. Yeah, he's country now. But. Um, yeah. He, he, anyways, so uh, he was promoting an album with them. Um, uh, I'll just say it: the, the album was called No Filter, and. Uh, but I didn't know we had a new album out. I wanted to hear his old stuff. And but he was falling on stage, slurring his words. Um, he showed up super late. In Alabama, the club shut down at two a.m. Um, no alcohol served. No more like everything shut down. And he sh he did like a fifteen minute set, maybe a thirty minute set. And it was just super wild. And I knew the owner, and I knew he got paid like twenty five hundred dollars for that show. And so I told myself, if he can get paid twenty five hundred dollars for that, I can practice. And I can make some money. So um, that was my whole epiphany moment. Get it. Um, I like that. <laughs> get August, it. Exactly. Go August get 9th, it. 2013. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hell yeah. Awesome. Are, uh, sativa, Indica, or Hybrid? What's your favorite? Uh, 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 sativa. Sativa? Okay. Yeah, I'm, Sham does not smoke. I don't, I don't even smoke. My, my twin brother is on the... We, we sold yin and yang. We're crazy as hell. I, I don't let it go he, out. Uh, TJ's been sober from like alcohol for like over two years now. Oh, well, good for him. However, oh yeah, I think everything that he dropped, I picked up. <laughs> that <laughs> I don't smoke for shit. Oh, but Sham didn't smoke before either, though. Yeah, like TJ not. may have started smoking more, but nobody. I have not met anyone to date here at this studio or on this planet that smokes as much as me. Um, <laughs> like, and that's just real as fuck. Hey, I just want to say this, y'all. I promise. Um, Let's go. I've, I've toned it down a little bit lately, so you probably got me beat. I, just, I have a, I don't know, it's bittersweet with um the whole, like, the dude that broke my ribs and shit, because uh, he died, um like, five years after we broke up, and he had my picture in his pocket, and so, like, it's just all bittersweet, but he taught me how to roll a blunt, and we actually... uh we got robbed one time. <laughs> it was MTV uh, Music Awards 2010. And I was in my car and I wanted to go to the gas station to get a cigar. And when I was pulling back up, um, our front door was open. And then I see, like, my boyfriend, um, he ran out the side and he had a gun in his hand. He ran around back. Then he ran up front the driveway, like, shooting a gun towards, towards like, this graveyard that we live beside. And long story short, it was wild. It was fucking wild. But I was not there for that to happen while I was there because I went to the gas station to get a cigar. And that is why I smoke blunts to this day, ladies and gentlemen. Fair enough. There it is. Heard it, heard it straight from the source. Hell yeah. yeah. That was just like, that was a quickie. There's a whole, like, it was, yeah. Shit that was is wild. definitely like a storyline. I was, I was like 18 no when that happened. Stormy, chat wants to know... <laughs> It, what are what are three artists that uh, you would like to perform with someday? Three particular artists uh, that you want to share the stage with? That I want to share the stage with. Oh goodness. Um, let's see. Uh, Up Church, the Redneck would be really cool. Um, the very first artist, I would say one of the biggest artists coming from the well, I, the biggest coming from underground going to mainstream. Um, however, he was also the first artist I ever opened up for. Um, outside of my EP release party, um, but Jelly Roll is gaining a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. um, so it'd be really cool to, you know, do a show. For, it was 2015 when I did my first show with him, my very first show as an artist. Um, 
you know, we're going into 2023 now. There's a lot of growth. It'd be really cool, you know, to get to share the stage with him again. And number three, oh, my God. Uh, uh, I feel like you had an answer and it just left. Like, I'm, I'm, she's not even country rap, but she's a lot of influence. Um, Halsey. Okay, cool. I fucking like love Halsey. Yes. Yeah, like, I fucking love, like, I just... Halsey, like, yeah. Halsey experiments with different genres too. I feel like I could hear Halsey doing a hook on one of your songs someday, or something like that. Dude, I fucking love that her. Be dope, I liked Halsey before she was fucking Halsey. Like I know, like she's been Halsey from the get go, but before she blew up, I fucked with Halsey. That fucking castles and all that shit. Like, fuck out of here. That's what I told you. Uh, like, <laughs> I was making Sorry. Of Whiskey Lines. Damn, like that, that was like a combination of three different songs. I think, like, like the, with the drum pattern and everything, it, like. Whatever the NGK song that was out that time, uh, like that's why I put. Oh fuck! Can I take that back? Can we have four? Sure. I like NGK too. I like <laughs> so he's a Taurus. I'm a Taurus. Um, my birthday is April 26th. Uh, his is a, rather really more lucky than mine. Um, but it would be super dope to fucking do. We can take since I've already done. Fuck! I've opened up for Upchurch too. We can take them both off and put MGK on. Gotcha. That's how much that matters. Damn. Hell yeah. Just because uh, my Hopeless song was, like, I was on my MGK shit when I wrote my song Hopeless. Yeah, like I said, with your lines, I, I was listening to that, uh, that MGK song, so I, I took the fucking guitar and shit out of that. And, like, the pianos and shit came from that, uh, something just like this song that, like, Goldplay did with fucking, what, what, what's, the, what's the name of them folks? Uh, Imagine Dragon? No, yeah, uh, shit. They... I don't know the name of the damn group right now. It's, it's escaping me, and it's stupid as fuck because like they're popular as shit. Um, they did that "Baby Pull Me Over" in the back seat of your Rover. Uh, what the fuck is the name of that band? Oh, Chains Yeah. All right. So the joint. I did a cover of that actually. I yeah. switched it up, but we took it down because it was shit. It was me and Shotgun Chain way back in the I day. I basically mixed the fucking like, <laughs> joint, uh, huh. that, that joint, and fucking. And by the way, if y'all need us to shut up, y'all can just... No, you're good. You're our guest. You're our guest. We're, we're here to hear your stories. No, it's all good. I do want to play I do want to play uh, this video as well, Baptized by Wolves. But before we do, yes, I, I want to I wanna set up the, the trivia portion of the show. You guys get to pick the trivia, but if I stump you, you have to take a swig of the hot sauce. If I am not able to stump you, I will spin the wheel and... And it could land on uh, torture for me, but I'll also take some hot sauce. Here's the thing. What, wait, time out. What's all on oh, your wheel? Well, I'll show you right here. The wheel looks just like okay. this. It could land on anything right there. Uh, it could I could have to put uh, Why strawberry. Why do we get hot sauce and you have all these options? Well, I have to do hot sauce and this. Oh. So I have to do both. No, but here's, here's the thing. Well, what I need to know <laughs> is what movie or TV show have you seen the most? Where if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, you will not get stumped. I don't know. <laughs> I'll give you a second to think about it. You guys talk amongst yourself. I'll give you a second to think about it. And you're Let's... about to Google this shit. I already got it ready to go. I got I got like a master trivia like kind of app thingy that uh, has millions of movies and stuff. But it's baptized by wolves. Guys, if you're feeling the I'm music, thinking... please support Stormy Lee. And hit that subscribe button. So I actually used to live in in South Florida for for 23 years, and uh, I I remember this because uh, after Christmas, right around New Year's time, we'd always have like back backyard New Year's parties, and we'd I had a homie that had like a huge truck, and he'd gather all the Christmas trees, and we'd do a huge pile like this, and set those mother on fire during like a like a backyard party. So this I'm getting those vibes from this video. <laughs> no, they're pine trees. They're Alabama pines, that's for sure. Oh this filmed yeah. at uh, Boggin' on the Plains. My boyfriend runs this uh, mud park in Alabama. He's in the oh, background cool. right here. Shout out Dirt Reynolds. I don't know if you want to see him. But, well, yeah, we got the, yeah, we got Dirt Reynolds oh, back here. What's up, dude? I didn't even see him back there. He's hiding. <laughs> hey, my, my, my dog will be chilling in the cut. <laughs> did, you, did you pick a movie or a TV show? Fuck no, but we talked about a couple different ones. You said the ones that we've seen the most, right? Like, yeah, so so it, in my in my opinion, it's easier to pick a movie because TV show could have 70, 80 different episodes. That's what I was episodes. thinking. I was thinking a movie. Toss out a couple. Toss out a couple and, and we'll pick one. Yeah, you and like, uh, I'm one of the motherfuckers I, I describe as like cinematically deprived. Uh, there, there's a lot of movies that... I like Harry Potter. 
I should I I man. Okay. I have the Deathly Hollow or, or yeah, the Deathly Hollow tattooed Harry, on my thing. Come on, dude. Like I man, look, cat cat's still trying to put me on. Harry Potter dude. works. Man, I've I've only fucking seen like three of them. Man. Wait, what? I didn't fuck. Wait, I, she said I, I, what? I didn't what? Harry Potter. My wife's trying to put me on the shit right now. Like I've only seen like I got the. Source of Stone, I watched that bitch, and I thought that movie was mid as fuck. Like, that shit was boring as hell. It's Sam, one. if it means anything, I have not watched any of the movies in years. I ain't read the books since I was in elementary school. You don't just forget that. The, like, it was the first The first one was called Chamber of Secrets? No, it was uh, Source of Stone. Yeah, Source first of Stone's one. first one. Chamber of Secrets Chamber was the second Secrets one. Was sa that, that was where it actually got kind of fucking good to me. I'm like, all right, it's funny. Let's, let's do, let's let's do like, Chamber of Secrets trivia. But give, give me a second to, to look it up. Hold on. What's that? <laughs> the Chamber of Secrets has the basketball. All right, so, you know, we talked about the, the Heat with a Freak thing last week. We tried, it was fucking, what was it, Fantasy Meats? We pretty much ate basilisk dick and unicorn dick. <laughs> and I, like, it was fucking wild, man. It's on live. It's on my Facebook. Y'all are crazy. Go to my Facebook Y'all are crazy. It's Heat with a Freak. You will see me eat all kinds of weird fantasy animal it says meats, but I'm just we're gonna assume there's You're there's penises the in there. You did you try did you try ostrich? There was ostrich in there. There was ostrich. Hell yeah. Yes. I've had ostrich before. Ostrich, buffalo, or bison, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. Deer. Um Were these jerkies? Yes. Oh uh, yes. similar like they're they yes. done in like little sticks, damn they're like like slim jam type shit. I got you. I got you. Somebody sent me a, like a, a mix pack of those a long time ago, so I tried all of them too. Uh, alligator, ostrich. Yeah, the gators was okay. Like the, the gator was some straight. of them was the kraken. I think was nasty. Yeah. Well, the fucking uh, the kraken the doesn't sound familiar. But let's see if we can stump you right here. Let's see if we can stump you on this trivia. In the chamber of secrets, how does moaning Myrtle die? In Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets, how does Moaning Myrtle... Oh, shit. She died in the bathroom, right? Like, that's where she died in the bathroom because the basilisk was in there and he looked at her. Whatever the fuck it is that's walking around that you can't look at, she died in there because she turned around. She was in there crying. Moaning Myrtle. That is correct. Give me a hell yeah! Ah! That is correct. I'm going to do some Death Valley, Death Valley hot sauce. We were not able to stump you. Are you guys familiar with what a blah is? A blob? A blah. A blah? Blah. A, a blah is... That's a blah. So it just landed on... Kind of not a fun one, but it landed on a half day. And by the way, the hot sauce is burning. The uh, ghost pepper <laughs> one. <laughs> Stormy, what, we are, what, uh, what can we expect in 2023 from you? Um, maybe some, some international touring. Not international, but uh, just touring on the West Coast, maybe. I assume more singles, but what are you allowed to tell us that you got planned for 2023? Um, so uh, I'm allowed to tell y'all we're about to have a lot of dope ass fucking music, and obviously music videos come with it. Um, as far as shows, I've got some. I, I have bike festivals um, lined up. I'm working on mud parks and stuff. I am actually work. I'm trying to. I wanted to put on a little like southeastern tour. I have never performed anywhere further than Colorado. Um. So it'd be super fucking dope to get out there to Cali. Uh, so, you know, maybe we can talk later and I can figure out some venues and shit, you know, to work on some to get out I, that way. I already got one ready to go for you. I'm really, really good friends yeah. with uh, the booking agent at the Whiskey Go-Go. Yes, sir. We, we will talk what part, after what part of Cali, Like, the only part of Cali I ever been to was uh, actually fucking Hollywood. Like, I, I, you know, we went out there to work with, uh, so me and Rap went to work with damn Cash Money AP that one time. and Cash Money? Uh, not Cash Money Records, Cash Money AP, but uh, we, okay. we have done some shit with Cash Money before. Uh, that was amazing. I mean, um, go ahead and shout out some of y'all's fucking placements and shit. Oh, yeah, wow. plug, plug, know, promote, whatever you want. Plug, like promote, whatever you guys want. Or... All right, well, I'm uh, shit. I, I don't even know if I got. A, I, I usually got this whole fucking ladies and gentlemen spiel that I do. But fucking, we already like this far into the show, so fuck that. Uh, I'm a part of a uh, drawn dummy productions and. Uh, uh, a lot of the bigger placements that we've got was with uh, NBA Youngboy. Um, That's a big one. Like, what is it down? House of Red Things uh, was one of them. 
shit, we got a few other ones on that motherfucker too. I, I just got one on that. Uh, I think it was Real or Two was the mixtape. I can't remember the name of the song though. Mm -hmm. uh, NBA Young Boy is 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 huge right now. That's a big one. Oh dog, I, shit. If if I could move the camera, I well, I mean, shit. Now, ain't y'all got shit with Rod Wave? Yeah, Rod Wave too. Uh, we did Close Enough to Hurt tomorrow. Uh, uh, tomorrow was on the Hunger Games too. Um. He ripped that beat straight off fucking YouTube. Too. I don't know. Like, these motherfuckers. Tags, like, look, all, all they got all kinds of now. fucking platinum shit hanging around this. Like, I'm going to have one one day. Like, they're yeah. on the production mm -hmm. side. I'm on the, the other side. Me and Shan want to have our own. Chat, say, chat wants to know where's the easiest place to find your upcoming con uh, tour dates? Or even if it's just Georgia dates, uh, where where's Facebook. the best? Facebook, your Facebook page? Facebook, Stormy Lee. I am Stormy Lee. It is uh, S-T-O-R-M-I-E-L-E-I-G-H. It is my government. I have the most common last name on this planet. Stormy Lee Smith is my full name. Take the Smith off whenever you look at my music. Um, I am Stormy Lee is Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. StormyLee.com is my website. I got merch. Hey. Hell yeah. That's uh, how you plug it right there. Yeah. I make it all myself. All myself. I design everything. I make all... I, Edit all the videos and stuff. Well, I started editing videos after BBO. Cool. But we got time for a, a couple more questions. Michaela, what's another question that you have? Um, what would be um like? What can we expect like music wise <clears throat> from Stormy Lee like twenty twenty three? Are you gonna continue like the country rap? Or are you gonna branch out like genre wise at all? Because it seems like you can you can pretty much do anything you want. And that is exactly why I've never, like, labeled myself to any genre. Like, I like music. I make music. Like, I like, I like I, that. That's when I first like. met Sham, I was just throwing beats at him. I was like, look, I like these beats. And he's like, dog, like, these are all over the fucking place. And I'm like, okay, well, this is what I like. I mean, I was good with it. Well, actually, uh, was the shit for... The, the one for I ain't shit, I, I got, like, the wrong link somehow. Like, the, the, when you sent me a link, it got fucked up. Yeah, the the I when I copied ever, yeah. it from YouTube and I texted it to Sham, what he saw was not the link that I copied and, and texted to him. Oh, weird. Um, so it was a whole different beat, and that ended up being a T Grizzly type beat. Yeah, it was. And I murdered it. I fucking murdered it. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like it. Was I thought. Like, fuck it. Hey, I'll, I'll, I I'm felt like it was shit. faster than the beat that I sent him, but I'm like, you know, we're just going to run with it. Fuck it. And well, it shit, just... The, the, beat, the beat she sent me was already sold, and she needed it remade, like, like or something. Yeah, and know. it didn't yeah. sound nothing like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I thought, you know, every, like, I thought the tempo and all that shit was the same, and... Uh, what's fucked up is, like, the, the, link that, <laughs> the link that got fucked up, the beat that she also sent me, like, that, well, the one I ended up getting, that beat was fucking sold, too, so, like, shit, either way, I would've had to fucking remake But, um, yeah, no, okay, so for 2023, uh, I am... Alright, so BBL is country rap. It's the 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 essence of what I like to call country rap. Yeah. Uh, Baptized by Wolves is country rock all fucking day. I've always I BBL kind of fits in that category. I mean, it kind of, the hook definitely. Um, my verse no. Uh, but I, I've I've been wanting to experiment. You know, with with if if you listen to my my other songs, I've got. I, I use my range and I use my power, but I haven't used it in this whole, in the way I've been doing it, like with BBL and Baptized by Wolves. However, I am about to release a song. Um, it, it's already released. It's called I Ain't Sober. It, it's purely like a country <laughs> love song, whatever. Um, I'm about to release the video to it in a few weeks. But that's to kind of calm down for 2023 because uh, 2023, we are rocking, baby. Let's go. That's all I'm going to say about it is we are, we're about to fucking, we coming with the heat. All right. I can't wait to hear it. Hell yeah, I got two final questions for you, Stormy, and we'll let you guys go. Uh, the first one is, do you can you recall the worst show you ever played? Everything went wrong at the show. It happens to every single artist at one point, but what what can you just describe to me the absolute worst show you ever did? Mm. Mm. Um I don't really want to say it just because I ain't trying to talk shit about a venue like that. Uh, <laughs> was it one of them up here? Um, maybe. It was in Columbus, wasn't it? Yeah, like, so we're in the middle. Right, so we had this whole show going on, right? 
And oh god, it was when I went to the bathroom in the middle of your fucking set. Brother. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with it. Oh. So I uh, so we had the show going on, right? And we're on and the venue we're at, it's half of it's like a nightclub, half of it's like a bar. But the bar's got like a stage and they can do live music and shit too. And and the other place has got a bar, but it's like, you know, night scene like country bar type. Like it's opposites. Very opposite. The side with the bar that has. Well, we started on the side that was like the club scene, whatever. My set goes, and they proceed to tell everybody that they're moving the whole shindig from this side of the of the fucking venue to the other side of the fucking venue to the to the countryside. So now we gotta go. And, like, <laughs> and it's not the set. fact that. Wait, this is like mid set. You have to like stop and de set up and reset up on the considering other side. Considering the fact that the way we did it, like when so I have songs with his brother TJ, and his brother TJ um did this whole it, it was like a, a group thing with him and uh, TJ Freak or Sam Rock and TJ Freak or whatever. And they had songs together, so it was like I'd open up, I'd do my set, and then I'd open up a song that we had together into their set, and then they'd do their set, and I would do backup and, and you know, shit like that, like, during their shit. And so it was pretty much, you know, like, one whole, we're like a group, but, you know, we're, we're separate fucking artists at the same time. But in the middle of that, they move us from one side oh, yeah, that to is the weird. next side. I think she got, like, she was actually done with a sit at the time. Um, it was fucking, but it was just. But they, we had to fucking swap back over because I had to plug in. Like, granted, um, I, I think I was doing the quote-unquote DJing at that time, but all I was doing was plugging my laptop in and just pressing play on shit because um, I didn't know too much about DJing. Like, I'm a fucking producer. I, I, make, I make beats. That don't mean I can goddamn spin records. Like, <laughs> He's learning. But, he does DJ myself, I, so I, he's I learning. It, I, I make him fucking uh, learn. Get it wrong, but I mean, I've, I've been cheating on that shit for years. Was, like, and, and for that night, that's when I figured out that she likes doing her sets. Uh, like, somebody's got to play her songs individually, whereas like me and TJ done. We kind of came in that like pay to play fucking show type. Like, you get the whoever the DJ at the place you flash drive. And after I press play on that son of a bitch and then just let it go. Like, okay, no, I did one show like that to where I let my shit all play like on a track together and it was like a 10 minute set or whatever the fuck. And I didn't press pause. And no, it, well, okay, no, I forgot all about that. That, anyways, that ain't got shit to do with it. No, when I first started doing music, I got into fucking, all right, so I was in internet radio and I was trying to interview, um, who was it? Three Six Mafia on their master tour come to Birmingham, Alabama. And I went to interview them and Twisted Insane was opening for them. And he come up, I was at the bar and he come up to me and he was trying to hit on me and trying to take me back to the fucking whatever the fuck. And I, I knew what he was doing. And he said something about who he was. And I was like, oh, the same Twisted that opened for Jelly Roll? And I knew it wasn't because that Twisted was the fucking offset of fucking ICP. Yeah. And <laughs> fucking... So, <laughs> But I just, I was trying to get dude off my nuts, you know? And so he, he was all, he was a fucking dick about it. Well, then I'm in Colorado. Uh, mind you, I'm, I met this motherfucker in Alabama. I'm in Colorado like three years later and I'm an artist now. Like, which granted, I wanted to do music then. Like I wanted to be, but now, you know, like I'm actually doing shows. I'm opening up for the motherfucker. Mm -hmm. And we got this fucking, we're doing a set and it's fucking it, it, the whole long bullshit. And I fuck up. Uh -oh. I fuck up, y'all, and my dumb ass tells the DJ to run it back. No. Y'all. My heart sinks even thinking about it. Like, whoo, but you got to fuck up to know, man. You got to fuck up to know. You got to fuck up to know, show. You got to fuck up to know. <laughs> Ooh. I, I fucked up. I have chills even time. thinking about that. I didn't, but I, I fucked God up. Damn. I looked at him, and he looked at me. We made eye contact, and I was on, like, I. Never again, motherfucker. Never again. Never. Never again. <laughs> So I got time for one final question. What would you yeah, say I'm is the uh, the best piece of advice anyone in the music industry has ever given you? To get off your fucking ass and do it. I, I don't that. care if you're scared. Yeah! I don't care if, 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 yes, you're going to be vulnerable, and I got chill bumps saying this too. Yes, you're going to feel stupid. Yes, you're going to feel insecure. Yes, people are going to try to bully you. Um, yes, People are going to shit on you, and when I say people, I mean your closest friends and family and everybody that you feel like you really want to support you are not going to support you. Fuck them. Do it. Because exactly. if you, it, you can do it. 
But I and and I only say that because I I had I decided nine years ago that I wanted to do music. At 18 years old, I started working at Hooters. I I had fucking family issues growing up. I didn't know. Nobody taught me how to be a female. Nobody taught me shit. I had to teach myself. So I went to Hooters for it, where all these females were, the pretty girls were. I looked up to girls that that now I'm, you know, I have complexes like because of why or where I worked at, and, and you know, you, you're you're making money off your look, so to speak. And now I'm 30, whatever the fuck. Anyways, but I went from that for 13 years. I worked my fucking ass off. I put money into this shit. I paid for voice lessons. I paid. For, I've been independent from the get-go. I will not sign the label. Labels can suck my dick. I don't care. I ain't gonna say all of them. Mm-hmm. No, no, I mean, maybe not, like... like contract on the right money. Uh, like, hey, no, nah, it, Sign me up. Give me a bug. <laughs> uh, roll Tide. But... Roll Tide. <laughs> I put money into it, and I put my own money into it, and I put blood, sweat, and tears into it, and I worked 13 years in what I like to call the restaurant industry. To <laughs> find... <laughs> yeah. The breast restaurant industry. I've never yeah, heard I've, that. I've worked at Hooters, Tilt to Kilt, and Twin Peaks between the three for 13 years. Um, and I do. I have a four-year degree in accounting. I was initially a double major in accounting and financial investments. I'd have graduated with honors. Like you can't fucking tell me shit. Like you, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. I asked me I love it. I love it. Yeah, like I don't, I don't want to be an account. Like the only reason why I have a four-year accounting degree is because I don't give up on shit. And I was already a double major when I decided to do music, so I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna drop the double major and keep my accounting degree. That way, at least, you know, like I didn't drop out of college. Don't fuck up on your quarterly. Oh no, I do my own taxes. (laughs) But uh, yeah, and no, and so this year it was actually I had always told myself if by the time I'm 30, if I wasn't making you know a living off doing music, I would. Use my fallback, which what was my accounting degree, and I turned 31 April 26th of this year, and I, I, I said fuck that the beginning of April this year, and I quit my job the beginning of April right before I turned 31, and I've been doing music full time ever since, and I, I'm fucking happy every day. And yeah, I can actually, that is the most important part you know, is is, is, is being is being I'm, happy. Exactly. 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 But like yeah. I've learned my craft too. Like that's the like. That's the main thing. Like, get up off your ass and fucking do it. Learn your shit. Fucking do it. That's like, great advice. First, like, I learn every day. That is great advice. Ch- 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 Moose, Stormy, we, we really appreciate you guys coming on the show. Uh, just being some yeah, cool cats. So m- <laughs> making some kick-ass music. Making some dope beats. We appreciate it. We're going to continue to support you. I'll do everything in my power to help in any way possible to, to get you a couple shows in California. I'd love to set that up. We'll definitely come out and support you for sure. Bring a small army. Whatever we can do. You guys are awesome. Have a fantastic day. We look forward to the new single and music video. Well, the single's out, but the music video said coming out in a couple weeks. We look forward yeah, to that. Yeah, Saber's coming out in a couple weeks, and then you're going to catch me ducked off on the dirt road right after New Year's. Let's, <laughs> let's go. Hell yeah. If you guys enjoy the music, please support Stormy Lee. Hit that follow button. Stormy Lee, everybody! Yeah, hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. hell yeah! Have a great day, guys. We appreciate it.